previously in Until Dawn, so we're up to chapter five. Um, <coughs> once again, I am CJ, and this is my walkthrough. What the Walkthrough? Play through. Could Let's be play. A lot of things. I'm new. None of them nice. I mean, two at all. <laughs> Here's our one way ticket to the spirit realm. I've just been through enough spooking for one night, okay? I see a hot bath in my crystal ball. I wish I had a crystal have ball. Fun. One individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? Chapter 5, Dread, 6 hours until dawn. That's not good. That's really not good. I love them. Damn it. Alright. Let's get a closer look. I'm gonna assume that's just gonna be like the gate is broken. Oh no, totem. I've already forgotten what white is, but it's me. Fortune totem. Well, that didn't really tell me a lot. Condemned. Why wouldn't I end up in the creepiest place on planet it Earth? Deemed unlawful for any person to use or occupy this structure forthwith. 1954. No, I can't. and look up to see who it is. Oh yeah, rattle the doors really loudly so the person knows you're following them. Genius.
Wait, it opened 1922. It wasn't open very long. New looking camera is where that sentence ended, by the way. Assaulted on Blackwood Mountain, Blackwood Pines AB. A reporter from the Alberta Bugle was assaulted and hospitalized yesterday by security personnel at the Blackwood Sanatorium. Um, Chuck Bernstein, a senior news reporter, was seeking an interview with the, mi the miners dramatically rescued on Tuesday. The man had been trapped underground for over three weeks after a structural collapse at the Northwest Mine in December and are now being treated at Blackwood Sanatorium for malnutrition and trauma. Jefferson Bragg, sole proprietor of both the North and West Mining Company and the Blackwood Sanatorium, told the Bugle yesterday that the incident was unfortunate and that a, um, that a full internal inquiry has been launched. He also claimed that Bernstein had been trespassing on Sanatorium grounds without permission. It is believed that the assault arose from an argument about Bernstein's camera, which was confiscated immediately prior to the attack. So the broken camera I found was theirs. Interesting. Sorry, I'm not Oh yay, more. Um, minor medical report, uh, attending physician, blah, blah, blah. Um, medical report, R report follows read initial state of the 12 miners 12 after the collapse of the mine and subsequent rescue at Blackwood Pines admittance on the receipt of the 12 patients at the sanitary medical facility we have fully expected to find emancipated I can't say that emancipate <laughs> I know what the word is I can't say it um Shells of men starved and confused. Thankfully, the miners appeared congent and relatively healthy, attributed to their apparent discovery of emergency food supplies. They totally ate them, their mates. <laughs> Sorry, that's just where my mind goes. Um, in Hamilton's respiratory functions was detected in a few of the older men, as predicted, as well as symptoms of pneumonia. pneumonia. Um, psychologically, after being trapped for 23 days, the shock of reintegration has been difficult for some of the group. Though their outward help, health is better than expected, they do seem affected by their time in the mine. Treatment. Due to the delicate nature of some, pa some of the patients, we have closed off the A-wing of the sanatorium. Psychological evaluations will take place as soon as possible. The men with respiratory problems have undergone a bronchoscopy um, and has prescribed a course of steroid serotonin. Don't know. The others are simply kept under strict 24 hour surveillance. 
Wait, no, oh no, wait, we gotta read the back, my man. In the back. Um, one of these guys actually tried to bite me. I'm going to report it to Dr. Bowman. Yeah, same. Is that seriously something you should write on the back of the medical report, though? One of these guys tried to bite me. And I'm down, down, step, down, step. Bird. Of course, it was gonna fly away. Oh shit! Gross. Ooh, that is um, that is probably rusty and blunt and contaminated with all sorts of things. He probably could have kept the gun. It would have worked as like a mallet or something. Oh, there's a doggy. I probably shouldn't call it a doggy when it's gonna try and eat me. as a kid. I think it's because my brother had a mice and that's just what parents get your kids. That's creepy. <gasps> Game capture device. What you're talking about? Okay, I have no idea why my game card just, I don't need both of these on, but my game card just stopped, but it fixed itself, so let's get into it. I also switched my headphones because the over-ear ones were hurting. Um, can I skip that? Because I remember what happens if I open it. I'm going to skip it. <laughs> is cheating but I forgot about this part <laughs> Nicholas Bowen um, describe attack by inmate fatal lacerations to throat Damn. That would be why it's circle there. It's totally cheating though that I didn't check that box, isn't it? Creepy that the blanket's still there. Name of the seat, Sarah Smith. Um, 1952 when it um, closed down. Um, I hereby certify that I attended deceased from um, last saw her wait March 8, 1951 to 24th. I last saw her alive. Oh, cause of death. Severe lac lacerations to the Bodeman instra intra-abdominal, I can say abdominal, I just don't know what the part was, intra, like 
internal <laughs> injuries. Um, subsequent blood loss, if death was due to external causes, violence, filling also following, accidents, suicide or homicide, homicide, um, manner of injury, lacerations by sharp implement, possibly fingernails, kind of like, um, please use box. Mm, Alright. Um, oh wait, did I, should I have flipped it? Um, so, all of these people died by lacerations? That's, um, just from... Oh. Body was not discovered until six to eight hours after death. Sections of the intestines and kidneys were apparently eaten by the attacker. I'm telling you, those miners were eating people. like a little punch card that opens the door. Why is that still... Yeah, I did that. One. waiting for something to happen. Quite a way. There we go! I skip that. Mike still had a useful machete. Okay, so the one I watched, um, they cut off his fingers, so he lost his fingers. But if you had it done the opposite one, he would have lost the machete, but I just skipped that because I'm a dick. Um, it is totally cheating, but I don't care. I didn't want to have to chop off his fingers. <laughs> Doggy. I think she punched it. No. Because I remember giving it a bone.
Let's wear the murderer's coat. Oh, I suppose that's better than freezing. Knock it over, knock it over. And we have a gun, despite the fact that he is an awful shot. Nice. Guess I'm blaming him. <laughs> Not my fault. Not my fault. Surely there's nothing in it. Like an atom, I mean. Hey, doggy food. Maybe this will keep the wolves fat and happy. This one's a not lot nicer than the other one that chased me. Fun. <laughs> now we'll go down the stairs. This guy means. I feel like it's a couple years, but it's done pretty well. Like, the detailing's great. I mean, some of the facial expressions with the makeups aren't great, but I mean, not everything can be uncharted. <laughs> Four. <laughs> no. Of course, locked. Didn't we just shoot a lock? Oh, okay, so moving okay. that was... Alright. <laughs> oh, we fucked up. Oh, we really fucked up. I feel 
feel like that would have been a bigger explosion. Which, you know. Wait, so there's no power in the house, but there's power for the... Oh, no, that's the gate I went through before. Hey, it's locked. The hell who did that? There's some seriously uncool shit going on up here. You found out your friend just died and you're like, there's some uncool shit going on right now. Like, that's your reaction. Bro. I can't believe Josh is dead. I can't believe how he died. No, I, I mean, what if they were wrong? What? Maybe we should have checked the shed to see if it was really true. I, I don't know. There are some things that once you see them, you can never unsee them. Yeah, I guess, but Where some things you have to me? see for yourself. I'll take their word for it. Do you feel like the things that I'm going to be able I wish I could see like the glowy things like from here. Uh, I think we're good for glowy things. Look! An axe! I feel better with an axe. You're not axe. confused as to why the axe is in the middle of the door? Like yeah, I would feel better with an axe too. But it's in the middle of a door. Smashing shit down, he's gonna hear us. Well, you got any better suggestions? I don't know. Come on. Look! What? The window. That's great, Matt. I can just about fit my lip palm through that little slot. Oh, come on. You will never fit through there, big guy. Oh, you could. I won't fit, but you will. Are you nuts? You're gonna shove my ass through that little hole? I've seen you slip into some pretty tight jeans, Em. Uh, excuse me? It's a talent. Fine, let's do it. I don't think it's the same thing. Mm. Okay, well, that's pretty far open. Right. I've scorched through a window smaller than that. Sometimes you forget your house keys. Uh, damn it! Even crazy, I just forget my house keys. I've also crawled through the doggy dog multiple times. <laughs> Mainly as a kid. I don't know if I'd fit now. Oh my god! It's pitch black. I do not like this. I'm right here, Em. I can't see anything. There's so much crap in here. I keep bumping into it. It's okay. Can you find the latch? Oh, anything? No, man. I think there's Okay, I'd be the same. Hate spiders. Be careful. Well, it's hard to be careful when it's freaking pitch black, you dip. Hey, I'm I'm just trying to be helpful. Almost. I think. Almost. Oh. Oh, wow. Good I on did you, it. Alan. Good job, Em. You rock. You're okay, too. That was good. We did good. A plus plus would buy again. to Chris and Ash and Josh? He's gotta know this is the only way back. Don't say that. Look, the cable car's all the way out there. Well, that's, I, I mean, that's not far, right? You you can jump it? <laughs> I'm good, Em. Yeah, that, that's not a that fair jump. Flattered, though. Well, Matt, if you can't jump that, what are we gonna do? I, I don't know. God, everything is, like, so busted up. I think they knew exactly what they were doing. Salt Tower. Hey, look! Fire Tower. Hey, Magellan, maybe we should get the cable car working and take the show on the road, huh?
friendly. <laughs> follow. Great. No keys, Got no cable car. Anyone? So back to square one. <laughs> That's my that's my look. What about the fire tower on, on the map you found? Well, I, I guess it's an option. Oh, maybe it has a radio or something. I mean, it, it would, wouldn't it? Probably, yeah. Matt, we gotta get to that radio. We can use the radio to call for help. Somebody's gotta pick up the signal. Oh, well, someone's learning to play by the rules. What? What rules? Rule number one, Emily is always right. <laughs> rule number two, nothing else matters because Emily is always right. Uh-huh. All right. <laughs> She's smarter than she looks, but I'm pretty sure she said that she was top of that class. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Maybe um, <laughs> you should go first to protect me. You know, or you know, if you fall off, well, I know not to go there. Okay. Okay. Easy now. Okay. All right. Oh my gosh. Okay. Almost. Almost. I'm feeling kind of faint. Don't look down. Whoa. Okay. Okay. Holy cannoli, thank God that's over. Yeah, for real. You know, she's not the popular thought. Maybe those two girls just bring the worst of each other out. So they're gonna get stuck back at the lodge. Oh wait, they're going to the museum. 
Wait, is she still in the bath? Also, while I'm at it, I want to see how many totems. Wow, that's a lot of totems. Is that the mountain they fell off? Watch where you step around. Yes, Matt. Given the choice, I prefer not to spend my evening plummeting to my death off a snowy cliff top. Yeah, that's where the girls fell. Yeah, what is that? It seems like creepy snow. I don't know. Okay, my dog just barked. this whole time. How many hours has it been? What are you doing out there? I'm saying that I stay in the bar for a while. Though the water would be cold by now. Okay. <clears throat> I'm guessing it's 1am. Oh, the fucker took her clothes? For sakes, my clothes, really? Creep. Whichever one of you did this is off my Christmas list. Seriously, not cool, guys. <clears throat> not cool at all. A sock. Go to her room and change. Gosh. Clothes. Like she's meant to be there for the weekend. She's got to have different other clothes. What the hell? The balloons are creepy. Well, I suppose she just thinks it's her friend, so she thinks she can find them, yell at them, and go get dressed. <clears throat> Sometimes I this don't is realize really I'm getting out of hand, anymore. okay? It was all very funny, haha. -ha. Look at Sam walking around in a towel, but now I just really want this to be over, all right? You had enough? Okay, if you were trying to freak me out, guess what? Can you imagine succeeded. A guy, like dressed as he is, going to the store and buying balloons? Because <laughs> I think that'd be pretty funny. Smart girl. The hell are you guys? <laughs> wow, this is weird. Like, surely she has other clothes. Hey! Guys, come on! Oh, I'm done with this! I really don't appreciate the silent treatment here! 
here. Hello, Samantha. Looking for me? I don't think you'll have much luck by looking, Samantha. You're only going to see what I want you to see. And I have quite a lot to show you. Going on. Open your eyes. Oh my god. She's quite beautiful, isn't she? A beautiful bathing bird. Do you think she has any idea what lies ahead? Do you think these were the last happy moments of this creature's life? Showing this to me. Why are you watching? Desperately want to torment. Has it been worth it? 